Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, my name is Bree and I'm so happy that you're here. Today I'm super excited because I'm making a video all about what it's like living in a sorority house, specifically at the University of Alabama. If you don't know, I'm a Pi Beta Phi at the University of Alabama. I'm a sophomore. Every sorority is different, but for Pi Phi, it's mostly a sophomore house. So if you want to live in, sophomore year is kind of the year to do it. And I know that when I came to college, I really didn't know if I was going to want to live in a sorority house. Even last year, I wasn't like 100% certain about it. I kind of had to be like a little bit talked into it just because I didn't know what it was going to be like and I was definitely a little bit nervous about it but it literally has been the absolute best decision. I absolutely love living here. It is incredible and I want to tell you guys all the amazing reasons why I love living here and kind of just like everything living in a sorority house entails at least here at Bama. So I made a little list. I'm going to talk you guys through it and hopefully this clears some things up for you guys and if you have any questions leave them down below. I'm definitely considering doing a video like showing the house because I did a room tour but like I feel like showing like the study rooms and like the downstairs area and the bathrooms I feel like that could be really helpful even showing like some of my friends rooms seeing like the different room setups I think helps if you're moving into a sorority house or if you just want to have like ideas for next year. I think that could be really helpful, so just let me know if that's something you're interested in. So without further ado, let's get into everything you need to know about living in a sorority house at the University of Alabama. So first thing I want to say is obviously I love living here. It has been the absolute best decision, and I'm actually living here next year. Um, mostly juniors like don't live in the house. I'm probably one of the only juniors living in again, but I just thought it was like really convenient, and I love it, so I'm like, why leave, you know? So the first thing I want to say is just how easy and convenient it is to live here. At Bama, the sororities are like literally on top of everything. We're a two minute walk from the stadium. I'm two minutes from all my classes. We're super close to the quad. We're just super close to everything. And last year I lived about a 20 minute walk from everything and it just wasn't convenient. I didn't come to the house as much as I do now. Um, I wouldn't make an effort to come here. I would eat out a lot just because I didn't want to walk all the way here. Um, and so living here is so easy and convenient, especially on game days. It is incredible literally just to like walk to the stadium and walk back in literally five minutes. I'm close to all the action. I feel a part of campus life and I, I absolutely love the location of the sorority houses. It's amazing. My next reason why I love living here is because I'm so close to all my friends. Last year we all lived at different dorms so it'd have to be kind of like plan out when you're gonna hang out but like literally I can just walk down the hall and be with Morgan and Alex or I can go upstairs and see Kate and Gabby. Like a ton of my friends live in the house and it's so convenient just to be able to like run up stairs or run down the hall or even the girls that don't live in they're still at the house a lot so like someone will be like oh like hey are you in your room I'm downstairs when I like hang out and it's just so convenient because I'm literally always here like if I'm not at class or I'm not doing something I'm here because I love being at Pi Fi I just I feel so cozy here and it's just the best so I love being close to my friends I feel like I definitely am with people more this year just because it's so convenient, so easy to just run down the hall and see whoever I want. So the next thing I wanted to talk about is obviously if you're living in a sorority house, for the most part, at least here, we have roommates. And before this summer, I'd never had a roommate before. Like last year in my dorm, I had my own bedroom and like a shared bathroom. So I was a little bit nervous about like having a roommate, what that was going to be like. And this summer at Disney, I had a roommate and it wasn't the best experience, so I definitely was a little bit nervous about coming here, but I literally love having a roommate now. Like, it is the best thing ever because my roommate Taylor, she's not here right now, but like literally we're like best friends and we were talking about it last night. I was sitting in my bed and she was sitting in hers and I was like, I just love when we're both here together because I feel like I have someone I can always talk to. We have grown so close just because of living together. And it's also really nice because like, even though we're best friends and we talk all the time, we can both like know if the other person's trying to do work or like kind of in the zone or like not in the mood to talk. like. I've never felt pressure to like be talkative or be on if like I'm just tired or not in the mood. And so it's great. I feel like we have an incredible dynamic and I have nothing but amazing things to say about having a roommate. I love Taylor. She's the best ever. So I would say just find somebody that you really vibe with and that you think will be respectful of you and your space and your time. I, I love it so much. It is incredible. I feel like I have a built-in best friend living with me. I will say something I do really like about our room is that we do have a toe-to-toe, -to -toe, which is like our beds are like this 
Whereas in a lot of rooms, the beds are like this. So you're like laying basically next to the person. I really like our setup because I feel like I have my own space and she has hers. Whereas even like a uh, side by side, you're kind of sharing the same space. So I feel like this really helps with living with a roommate. There are only so many rooms in our house that has this setup. So we were really lucky to get to pick this one. I want to live in this room again next year because I love it. It's wide it's beautiful i'm super close to the balcony i love this room the toe-to-toe -to -toe is an amazing setup if you are a little bit worried about like having a roommate and sharing a space the next thing i wanted to talk about is laundry so last year i lived in a dorm and i actually this was my fault i left my like clothes in the washer while they were washing for like an hour and i came back and they were all stolen uh, all of my lululemon like every single lululemon item i owned was stolen so that was terrible i cried a lot definitely love living here because i mean i'm living with my sisters and i don't feel like i have to worry about like anything getting stolen because we're all friends and nobody would do that um but we also have like little name tags that we put on the washer and dryer and it's literally like right out there like the washer is i can walk there in five seconds whereas last year i had to go up and down the elevator and it was just a hassle to do and the washers and dryers here are super nice we don't have to pay for them like i had to last year honestly like there's pretty much always one you can use i mean every now and then you might have to wait a little bit but for the most part i've had no issues with laundry and i actually like it a lot better this year so that's something highly recommend the laundry is so much better i feel so much more comfortable doing laundry here than i did last year in my dorm so that's definitely a pro of living here the next thing i want to say is just how amazing like amenities i guess you could say there are here we have a really nice balcony that i literally sit on all the time um we have study rooms we have lounges where you can like watch tv play games we have a basement with like movie rooms and stuff there's a snack room which is always stacked with snacks um so there's just like lots of different places that you can go and use and the upstairs locations like the study rooms and lounges are reserved for live-in members only so you're not really competing with like every girl in Pi Fi to go to those rooms it's just for the living girls which is really nice if you need a quiet place to be or if you want to be surrounded by friends there are places to go and so i've just really liked having those different places in the house to use kind of speaking on that i will say it's been great to be able to have different spaces for different things so like I know if I'm wanting to be social I can just go downstairs and go to the dining room because there's always people down there talking and doing whatever but if I need a quiet space I can either come to my room I can go to a lounge or a study room those are always really quiet the balcony's normally really quiet we have like a little library so there's lots of different places around the house to be quiet um but if you also want to like talk to people and socialize there's places for that too so i just really like that there are places i can go for whatever i'm trying to do or whatever mood i'm in next thing i was actually really nervous about this the bathroom situation because i was like mm, communal bathrooms like that's kind of weird i don't know if i'm gonna like that i actually don't mind it at all like the whole showering situation our showers are so nice and clean like i have no issues using those showers they're really pretty actually the bathrooms are great like i literally have no complaints that was definitely like one of my biggest concerns Concerns is like oh my gosh communal bathrooms like that's kind of icky like after last year of having my own bathroom I don't know if I'm gonna like this but it's so easy the bathroom's literally a four second walk from my door like it's not a hassle at all bathroom situation is great no complaints there either so the next thing I kind of want to talk about is the guest policy you can bring guests in your room pie fi or non pie fies um, but they have to be girls boys are not allowed on the second or third floor period they cannot come up here the only times they're allowed upstairs is during move in and move out so guys cannot come up here at all but in terms of girls you want to have a girl in your room you easily can do that so if you want to have a girl come in your room or if you want to have a girl sleep over it's actually super easy you can have a guest stay up to two nights and i actually had to fill out a form for my friend to come stay with me this weekend she's coming in from lsu and i'm so excited um, but you just fill out a form and they can stay for up to two nights in your room. So that's really nice um, But if you are like a person that likes to have like a bunch of girls sleep over you constantly have guests over Obviously living in the sorority house like isn't ideal because you can't really do that um, But if you just have like a friend coming in for a couple days, it'll be easy. She can stay with you. No problem The next thing I will say is living in the sorority house There are like set dates when you can like be in the house and not be in the house and same thing for a dorm We just had fall break and we had to leave at like 10 a.m And like we couldn't come back until sunday and I know a lot of girls were kind of like scrambling trying to figure out housing for like the fall break so like obviously that can be a downfall if you're considering living in an apartment versus living in the sorority house the sorority house there are going to be dates when you can't be here so 
you know, that can definitely be a downfall, but mostly it's just like during breaks when you'd already be going home. So it's really not that difficult, but like in terms of timing, like you might not be able to get into the house until two o'clock and maybe your flight lands at like nine in the morning. So, you know, just consider that it can sometimes be a little bit stressful figuring that out. But so far, I really haven't had any issues with it. The next thing I'll say is that food is so easy here. I don't really have to go grocery shopping at all other than like a few snacks here and there. We have a snack room fully stocked. We have coffee machine. We have a soda machine with like tons of different drinks they provide breakfast lunch and dinner monday through thursday and then breakfast and lunch on fridays um the weekends you kind of have to figure it out for yourself other than like the snack room but there's always like sandwiches in there um that you can make uh so i have like food has been super easy this year honestly spend a lot less money this year on food because last year i would just like make the excuse to go out all the time because i didn't want to walk all the way here um but i would say food is like super convenient and like just easier and cheaper so highly recommend next thing i'll say is that parking here is great last year when i lived at prez there were so many times i had to park like a mile away in a different parking lot because there wasn't enough parking but living in the sorority house we literally live like the parking deck is a one minute walk it's great because there's always a spot like i've never had to park somewhere else um so parking is great very easy haven't gotten a ticket knock on wood but yeah parking is great and super conveniently located too next thing i'll say is i feel really safe here i felt safe last year in my dorm but there were a few times where i was like ah, who's knocking on my door at two in the morning and it was always just like a joke but like still i don't know this year i feel really really safe here we have a security guard at night who's always here you have to scan to get into the house you have to scan to get into each floor um I feel really safe here very like protected and I feel very at peace with living here in terms of safety and the last thing I'll say is just like my room is my safe haven like I love it I was so sad to leave my freshman year dorm because I like grew so close to it and I just felt so safe and cozy here but this room obviously is like 10 times better I literally love it it is my favorite place I'm always here I love being in my room here it's my happy place and I just feel so happy and safe here and I couldn't recommend living in a sorority house enough if it's something you're considering um highly recommend because honestly when else are you gonna live in a mansion that's what I always tell myself because my plan is to move to New York after college and I know I'm gonna be living in a teeny tiny apartment so i'm like might as well take the opportunity while i'm in college to live in a sorority house i'm in a sorority might as well get the full sorority experience um so i really want to make more